So this video is going to cover the installation of a clamp on the finished uh, fire sleeve. There's basically two types of clamps that are normally used. Uh, the simplest clamp is a free end clamp. I don't have one here today to show, but it's almost identical in terms of how to in, um, install it and, and some techniques. Um, I'm going to use the twice around clamp. So the twice around clamp is what it says. There are two loops of stainless steel uh, and it's a preformed clamp so you have to be able to fit it onto the fire sleeve uh, during assembly or if you can remove one end from a piece of equipment if you're installing it the hard way. Uh, if you cannot remove the hose and you've maybe installed a split fire sleeve so one with a velcro or a snap fastener or a zipper and you want to put clamps on it then you're going to have to use a free end clamp the twice around clamp cannot be used so here's the tw uh, twice around clamp i kind of remember where the back shell is now to be totally precise you should measure the length of the back shell on the fitting to ensure that your clamp is holding the fire sleeve onto the back shell and that it's not too far back where it's holding it onto the hose. Uh, to give it some extra purchase, some extra grip, um, try to get the fire sleeve onto the clamp area. So this is a fire sleeve or one of the fire sleeve clamp tools that's available. This is the the cheapest um, one on the market. It does a pretty good job. You slide the, uh, well, first of all, here's the cutter that uh, cuts the, the uh, end of the clamp. And this is the winder for tightening the clamp. And it has a slit in it where my fingernail is on my thumb. You can see the slit right there. And the, the nose has a slit for sliding the end of the clamp into. So first of all, I'm going to slide it through the cutter. You can see that it's through the cutter blade here. And then I'm going to slide it into the winder. So there's the winder. And that is now as far in as I can get it. Sometimes you'll have to use an oversized clamp in order to get enough free end of the clamp into the tool. Uh, same with the free end clamps. You need to make sure you're using one long enough that the tool can be used. All right, so now I'm going to wind and I can uh, wind either direction. Now I can, oh, that one slipped out. That uh, didn't work too well. Um, so in the uh, goal of uh, making this video a little bit on the short side and not overly complicated, I'm, I'm not going to try to um, finish with this clamp. I, I don't have another one handy at the moment, but you can envision what happens. You wind the clamp tail as tight as you can that will close the twice around clamp. When you've closed the twice around clamp, then you use the cutting portion of the tool here to cut the clamp off. Then when you remove the tool from the clamp, you will have a short piece of the end of the clamp sticking uh, out from the buckle. And uh, you can either cut that with a pair of metal shears or you can use a grinding tool or a cutoff wheel to cut that off. Um, it will be slightly sharp, uh, so you can also try bending it with a pair of pliers. Uh, and you can overwrap the clamp with another piece of the end wrap tape, if you wish, to both protect the clamp and protect the sharp edge from catching on somebody's fingers. So there's just a couple of installation tricks. Uh, I'll put another video up uh, at another point in the future which shows 
the installation of the clamp better and also has the free end clamp uh, there we go it's out and um, you can also just use a combination of other hand tools to tighten this you can put a pair of pliers on the buckle and and pull the free end uh, with pliers but but the winder on this uh, works quite well there's also an official tool it's quite expensive um, for these uh, clamps these are banded clamps there's a lot of other types of clamps out there as well. There's the T buckle clamps, the worm gear clamps, punch clamps. There's just so many different varieties of clamps out there. But the twice around clamps, the banded twice around clamps, and the free end clamps uh, are the easiest and most economical to use and do a really good job. And they're only holding the fire sleeve on. They're not providing any kind of force to hold the back end of the fitting onto your hose. Uh, so it's uh, strictly to to hold the fireplace uh, fireplace the fire sleeve in place if there's any tension on the fire sleeve due to flexing of the hose then um, it will uh, keep the fire sleeve in 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 place for longer um, so sorry about the uh, incompleteness of this video I will post another one shortly uh, uh, using uh, a longer tail on this clamp and also showing the free end clamp. Thank you.